Hi, it's Steve from Clarity. In this video, I'm going to show you where you can store all of those documents that you've created from the action plan and, and the use of the business university that you've previously used, as we mentioned in the previous video, and also verify those documents on blockchain. So I'm just going to share my video, uh, my screen with you. And this is where we left off in the action plan. But now what I want to do is go into the document section. So within here, we have seven key folders. Now don't think of this like a, a document repository. So that's the end result of this. Think of this as the assets of your business. So these are the key areas, seven key areas of your business, the seven key assets that you have to help you build your ideal business. Now that could be uh, to build a business that can run without you, could be to grow uh, and sell it in the future, or it could be to grow and, and just continue doing the roles that you love within the business or, or take an income from the business. So whatever your goal is for your business, it's essential that you start populating these seven key assets within the document folder structure of Clarity. So on the screen here, we've got assets, brand and culture, finance, legal and governance, products, products and services, systems and team. So that, they're all set up to be specific for your business. So the seven key folders you won't be able to change, but within each folder, just click on brand and assets for an example, there's subfolders within here, which are the suggested areas that we think that you should be populating information to help you. Now, there's a, a couple of reasons why you wanna do that. So one, it's for use for your team and use for you. So once you've created these documents, you've got them there available for all of your teams to have access to, and so that you know where your business is supposed to be going and, uh, and so does your team. And the other reason is if you at any point in time want to access funding, or so that's either to grow your business or to buy a particular piece of equipment, or even in, to get investment as you're growing rapidly, or even to exit your business, you want to sell your business, by putting all of that, all those important documents in these asset sections, you will then be able to open up this data to investors and lenders who also sit on the other side of the platform. And here the important thing is that where blockchain comes in, what blockchain does, it verifies those documents that you're, you're saving here in the asset folders. Now, it's not the documents itself that go across blockchain, it's just the timestamp. So it's literally a timestamp to say that this document is the true document and it's been verified either by a fellow director or a fellow, fellow team member or by your bank manager or your accountant or, or somebody else external to your business. So we're in the brand and culture area now of the folders. So I'm just gonna click on vision and here I'm gonna upload a document that needs to be included. So let's click on your vision. And then from here, the document gets uploaded into the document section. And we can also get signees to sign this off. So we could, as an example, let's add someone else to this to sign it off um, because we're gonna sign this with them. And this is our vision for the firm. So as a fellow director, let's click continue. We can go through the, the sign and send process. So there's a small fee for the verifying the data because the, um, it's not, sorry, for verifying the document. Uh, because the verification goes across blockchain, what that means is we have to pay a small fee to create that entry in the Ethereum blockchain. But at the moment, you can see that everything has 100% discount. So there's no charge for you whatsoever. And you can also add a message to your team here as well. So for the other person signing, you may want to add a message just to say, that this is the final document, please can you sign it? And then once you're happy with it, you click the box to say you're gonna sign it and you're gonna pay for the fees, but obviously that's zero, and then sign and send. And once that's done, well you're then the other person will then receive an email to approve that document. And then once they've approved it, there'll be a green tick on this document to show that it's been verified on the blockchain. So again, remember, it's the verification that goes across blockchain, not the document itself. So literally, it's just a timestamp to say that this has been verified, when it's been verified, and who verified it. So when an investor or a lender is looking at these documents, so well, when you're going for, um, for funding or lend, borrowing money or going looking to exit, they can see, the investor or lender can see that the documents, these are the true documents, 
and that they've been verified by other people either, either within your team or externally from your business so they can have more faith and reliability and more trust in those documents. So that will reduce the number of warranties and guarantees that you would need to get have and it will also reduce the cost of due diligence for the investor and the lender as well. So that was a summary of the document side of things and the seven key assets of your business and how to populate that information and then get that information verified on blockchain.